Hi. At last we did this. Yes. How cute you're looking with your headband and all. I know. All, all for you. Yeah, all for you. I like buttoned up my shirt and like been all proper. <laughs> How are you, my yeah, love? Very formal. We're just trying to kind of feel normal, like how we normally feel at work, getting ready, part of yeah. our day, part of what I makes. Think, have you been fun. wearing perfume? Because today I realized that mm. I haven't been wearing perfume, and I was like, but I love perfume. Yeah. I've like, yeah. So today is the first day in I think twenty days I've worn perfume. <laughs> okay, Tammy, thank you so much for joining us. First of all, tell us all how have you? Been. I know how you've been, but how have you been? Oh, uh, very chill. Yeah, I'm really resting it out, relaxing, uh, doing things that really mean something to me. Um, yeah. Watching a lot of content online. Um, yeah, it, it's. I'm cooking a lot. Like I'm seeing your posts, so I know you're cooking as well. But, yes. Uh, I mean, I didn't really know that I would enjoy this this much. Like. Um, I mean, I knew that I would. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a foodie, so I like to eat. But I didn't know yeah. I like cook so much. Uh, yeah, but I could see you liking it because it's like very, it's it's creative and it's meticulous, which both things you love. So I think it's not a surprise that you like it. No, but actually, I find it a very um, instinctive process, which I'm quite surprised about. Although there is a lot of measurement involved. But then again, yeah. sure that when they say one cup of something, it could also mean your cup size in your house is different than what is in their house. So my cup is always extra large. I'm like, oh, maybe Sorry, not that cup. But I said my cup is always really large, and I'm like, maybe not my cup. Yeah. So I mean, how do you like judge? Uh, so I think I I discovered how to kind of maneuver things in the kitchen. I didn't know where anything was, uh, kept yeah. in the kitchen, but now I know. Yeah, so that's great. That's amazing. So I wanted to start you so just because you cook so well and you cook such great food and you cook such healthy options and uh, and you are like you know you are the queen of your house. You do your own thing and I love that about you. You're so thank you. Um, you know you're um, I mean for people who don't know you, you're so domesticated. You're someone who's so caring, so loving. Um, thank you, baby. And the effort you take into detail, which is something that I really really appreciate and. That's and that's something that was a huge revelation to me also when I kind of uh, spent time with you. Uh, I, I know you're someone who's you know um, such a homebird, someone who really like because it's a lot of work. Like, Tell me that's supposed to be a secret. A I'm supposed to be a badass outsider, and you're like, what a cheer girl! You know, like I mean, uh, for the for the number of times you called me a good girl, I think uh, you're the OG good girl. <laughs> <laughs> Just like in a in a slightly like. In just like grungy clothes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, the the OG good girl in grunge. I love it. <laughs> so, darling, I wanted to start today's talk. As you know, we've been, you know, I've been having chats with all these different women. Yeah. And I was talking about a, a what. Moment to increase the volume. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Keep talking. Keep talking. Sorry, technologically challenged. So do good. You know. So, you know, I was thinking about what do I talk to Tami about? And when I think with the women I've chatted with, I'm like very close to you and Priyanka, I would say. So it was hard for me to think of what to talk about with both of you, right? Because we've shared so many topics. But I think when it comes to you and me, the thing that really strikes me and something I'm very proud of is the sisterhood. And like... Yeah. You know, it's easy for women to say we should stand up for each other. We shouldn't drag each other down. We should be like fully with it. And I, I'm sure we found it difficult. Like, I know you are like, you know, you know, you're like Mahatma Gandhi, Dalai Lama, and female form. You're generally like zen about everything. But there are times where I've told you, like, tell me, I really think that the, the way this person conducts themselves or what they do behind someone's back is like not okay. The good thing is we always come back to ourselves and we come back to our bond. And we yeah. come back to our positive, you know, circle with each other. So, wh- I I never asked you this, but how do you think it is that both of us who on paper are completely different and opposite? It's yeah. like we're two different sides of the color spectrum. On like, if we were paint colors, we'd be like opposite spectrums. How do you think it is that we managed to form this bond? Is it because of the differences? 
so what i feel is um we are extremely different as people but intrinsically we seek the same thing and that yeah. is um becoming a more um a more authentic version of ourselves yeah and why we do that i guess the only way to actually truly do that is to accept um yourself as who you are and also constantly accept other people with the fact that you might actually not like everything about them yeah and because c- c- we are trying to constantly accept other people the way they are uh i think i think that's a big common uh, common aspect of the both of us i don't think we are that judgmental of what i have seen of i think we both come to uh, we discuss 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 and then we're like okay you know what we're really still having a comment is unfair so i guess i think somewhere we bond on that part that um we have an opinion but we're still we like we're we are not like trying to shove it into anyone's face no so, um so i might have a different set of opinions uh, which have been uh, because of my kind of upbringing or because of my kind of life or or personality you have your set of opinions but it's never thrusted upon each other or other people that we interact with i think i right. think that's the reason why we bond so so well even though we are apparently so different yeah and it just outside of you and me i know that you have a very very close group of female friends so and um, there are people sometimes that you work with and people that you've known for years as i know what is it about this collection of you know i think there's three women in your life that you're very very close to like excluding your mom what is it and what does this support system mean to you because you're someone who works very 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 hard not that the rest of us don't work hard but there's something about the way you work that makes me feel like you know you are the german model car and i'm really not so <laughs> that's rubbish ru so anything <laughs> but what does this this um collection of women in your life mean to you to be honest if you ask me i think you work way uh, way more hard than i do because for me a large part of my life is taken care of by i mean i don't know what it is with me but i have a lot of people babying me including you, you yeah know, i guess one of the yeah, one of yeah you do i'm like, like oh. i think i have that i have that vibe that whenever anyone looks at me just want to baby me and i and i to be honest i am not complaining about it so <laughs> so i very strategically find these friends who will just love me to bits and just take care of me and love me and spoil me and you know it all kind of works out in my favor <laughs> well that's lovely and and these these group of women what do they bring to your life do, do they bring a safe space where you can be honest with them without judgment and you can leave your work behind or can you discuss your work with them oh well where when i'm really close to it's because i am i i i really like those people as the people they are like what they do for a living or what i do for a living is often kind of forgotten in the process whenever we interact with each other yeah which and is lovely. always about just spending time like i think that is something like for me i can i can be in a traffic and have a lot of fun if i'm with like say you or if i'm say if i'm with billy or disha who are like my closest of friends you know so i i don't really need uh i don't really need to be in a very beautiful location or beautiful place mm. maybe that's the reason i'm so peaceful at home that i i don't feel i'm i don't feel like i'm missing out too much because i'm i'm happy with the people i'm surrounded by so i think a sense yeah. is important that whichever women you surround yourself with or whichever people rather you surround yourself with should just be people who add value to your life and add value mm. to you without really I mean whenever you have to put effort I feel like it never works out. It has to be people who are like organically in your life and yes. uh, who mean well and I think one has to be I think in today's time a better judge of these things like who you have in your in, in your circle or who you have as your close people. I think yes. one has to be aware of that. Yes, absolutely. And the the other thing I wanted to ask Clara stop it. Sorry, she's just acting like so psycho. It's part of our life. <laughs> so, uh I wanted to ask you like you know something I've noticed about you before we became friends is you seem someone to to be someone who is quite positive in control and quite um stable in all your reactions and with quarantine is the first time where I've actually seen you be like ah oh, it's like it's good for me and yeah. you've been more expressive about what this time means to you and we were doing another interview and you said something really nice where you said people had forgotten how to daydream and yeah. that you had 
on a summer vacation when you were lying down just like with hours to spend with no agenda realize that oh i may want to be an actor i may want you know i like cinema and entertainment this is what i might want to do are there any revelations that have come to you now in another phase of your life with this quiet time that you've had you know that's the thing with uh, um uh, times like these you know it's you can't pressurize yourself again to again it's a kind of pressure that we put on ourselves right hey yeah. this should be productive hey i have so much free time let's make sure it means something and i feel like yeah. the more we are trying so hard to make it productive i think the the lesser possibility of it being productive it is so i mean yeah. although this is this is a this is a realization i have that this free time could yield this but i don't think i am pushing too hard towards it i i might not my nothing might get revealed in this process i might still just end up doing a lot of more acting that i've been doing in for, for the, in the movies that i do uh i'm i don't know it might yield into something else but i'm not putting that pressure on myself because i think that's essentially what we all do and that's something that i realize is definitely a mistake and i, I and i think after the whole i i i hope after everything just settles down and becomes okay i yeah. i would not i would really calm the shit down <laughs> like <laughs> yeah because mistake. i think like the control the illusion of control has completely been removed for all of us yeah like it's like just shut up like just sit yeah. like stop and what you're saying is beautiful which is like don't feel pressured by others um image of like you know people are like you must have written so many songs in quarantine i haven't been able to write anything new except like maybe half a verse of a new song because i'm not feeling productive i mean this is probably the downtime you need because we are we all uh, when we are in work mode then we automatically gear up differently but sometimes yeah, it's you have a shit time is like the <clears throat> is like the build up which you're not even it's just very subconscious it's not something you're consciously trying to achieve but that no conscious time out actually helps thank you and you have been inspiring to me as always thank you for doing this today love you lots and thank you for coming here and speaking with me love you too see you soon bye everyone bye bye guys bye